couple quick things I want to talk about for setting up the ergonomic station or the ergonomics for your workstation. Things to think about. You want to look at your computer screen so that the top of the screen is at eye level. Our natural gaze is to look down and to have that screen tilt up slightly so that it looks straight at your face. The other thing to think about is the height of your keyboard and the height of your chair. Those two kind of go and play together. So if, we, if you notice, for example, that your knees are higher than your hips, it's going to make it hard for you to maintain sitting upright. So when we think of our pelvis, we want that pelvis to be like a teacup spilling forward to give support to our lumbar. So our lumbar becomes active. And if you feel like you're falling forward, let's lean back a little bit until you feel that core turn on. So to solve that height problem, we're going to come up a little bit. And what I've noticed about all of the chairs at Schneider that we use, if you see this little lever here that turns front and back, start cranking that forward and the bottom of the chair will start to tilt forward. Again, that might be a little bit uncomfortable, but if we can sit with, like that, feet flat on the ground, knees lower than the hips, it's easier and more natural for the pelvis to tilt forward, and as we sit upright, we have even stability throughout. Matching that with the height of the keyboard, it should be at the elbow height or a little bit lower, we don't want to reach for the keyboard, it puts too much pressure on the upper back and neck. Elbows should be comfortable and down by the side, okay? Thinking more a little bit about posture, like we've talked about, setting that pelvis is really key. So one core exercise we can do is just start experimenting with pointing our tail behind us or tucking that tailbone underneath, okay? So kind of rocking back and forth, feeling that engagement. And as that pelvis tilts underneath, let's Inhale, exhale, squeeze down into that core. Often we don't turn this on enough during the day. So let's program our brain to be a little more aware. A little exercise you can do to make sure you're in alignment is put one thumb at the bottom of your rib cage, the other one right in your belly button. And as we come forward, let's clamp down or open that up. Deep, nice, long belly breaths. All right. One other thing we can think about for posture is getting out of this rolled forward, shoulders forward, neck forward position. So we're gonna put our arms behind our back. We're gonna look up to the sky and lean back into our chair. Let's let the back of the neck, re neck relax here. And as we sit forward, let's clamp that chin down and engage the front of the neck. And here we're just kind of like opening the chest up, up, up to the sky and let our shoulders relax down by our sides now. And here we've kind of come out of this rolled forward position. We've reset the shoulders into a good position and we've reset the neck into a good position. So little things you can work on are just feeling engagement to the front of the neck and squeezing shoulder blades inwards into your armpits okay i'm not asking you to squeeze back with the chest coming up all i want is inward pressure squeezing into the sides very good 